Dr. Wood, other book, Miracles Minutes. Tonight's video is on... Let's play. So, <clears throat> life's supposed to be about play. I can't remember who it said it, but um, a man who lives his life beautifully, you can't tell if he's at work or is at play. The two are the same. So we started out as kids, and we played, and we got here, and we played. We played dress up. We played army man. We played games. We played with our friends. And it was always about sharing and, and sharing and uh, knocking on our friend's door. Hey, come on out. Let's play. And, um, you know, then all of a sudden, uh, they send us off to school, and we get some of these people that don't know how to play. So, no, no, no. you're going to learn. This is so serious. Shut up. <laughs> like, okay. I've had teachers like that. They were so dry, so morose. Like, yeah, I, I would really, it's really fun being in your classroom. I bet you're great to be married to. And this is the way they see or they're how they're acting or how they're being a teacher or whatever it is or being a husband, being a wife, whatever. Hey, you know what's missing from your life, man? Some fun, some play. So, you know, some of the best classrooms I've been in where the teachers made it fun. You know what they put in the class? Fun. They put fun. Who's responsible for putting fun in your life? You are. Who's responsible for creating the relationship you want? You are, and you work with your friend, and you share, and you talk about it. So what's missing from a lot of people's uh, families, from their marriages, is play. It's fun. You know, if you get one person don't want to play, and all they want to do is always be, you know, whatever. Like, yo, man, would you rather spend the rest of your life being miserable, or do you don't come out and play and have some fun? Let's have some fun. Like, can't being married be fun? Like, it doesn't have to be like your parents did it. Like, can you think for yourself or are, are you so classically conditioned like a dog that you're too ritualistic? You know what I mean? Like even church is that way. Like I don't go to church, you know, I'm not saying anything wrong with church or anything like that. And I don't believe in religion. I believe in relationship. Like let's have some fun. Like, you know, can't life be fun? I'm, I'm all into fun. If you don't want to have fun, then, you know, maybe you're not my partner. You know, I encourage my kids to have fun. You know, who's responsible for putting fun in your work? You are. Let's have fun. You can still work and have fun. You can still play and have fun. The best classroom experience is the one you learn the most from where you played and have fun. Can a relationship be fun? Yeah, let's have some fun today. Or it could be softer fun. Maybe we'll play a different game. It could be like the game today we're going to play is I'm going to be loving and be kind and um, we're just going to be kind of, we're just going to kind of sit on the couch and cuddle, enjoy each other. Okay. It doesn't have to be, you know, let's play pool. All right. Let's have some fun. So, you know, that's the person, you know, that everybody wants to be in a relationship with. The person who's fun. Look where everybody spends their money. On fun, entertainment. But they're spending it on someone else entertain them. You be the entertainment. You become a fun person. Entertain yourself. And part of it I grew up was because I grew up in Tennessee in the middle of nowhere, man. My best friend was a stick. <laughs> like, I didn't have, like, all these fancy toys and all this stuff. And I had, a, you know, siblings. Sometimes they'd be doing their own thing. And my closest neighbor was, like, quarter, you know, an eighth of a mile down the road. I'd ride my bike down there, walk down there, talk on his house. He may be home, may not. We didn't have cell phones. You knocked on his door. Hello, are you home? Want to come out and play? Sometimes they weren't home or they weren't allowed out to play. So sometimes I create my own fun. You know, you go out and explore and you adventure and you create things out of nothing. Part of life's problems today is people live such a structured life that everybody does everything for them. You forgot how to create. You forgot how to create fun. And that's why you're not having fun. Guess when you have the most fun? In creation. It's creating your life. Some people create nothing but problems. Or you can create fun. You create solutions. You can create joy. You're the one supposed to be creating joy. You're the one supposed to be creating love in your life. You're the one supposed to be creating fun. You're the one who's supposed to create yourself. You're a creator. What are you creating? A catastrophe or a masterpiece? Dr. Wood, have a great day.